Right. Thanks for your time, mate. I hope you can hear me. Uh, you can hear me, Dean, yeah? No. Sorry, Paddy. Is it another girl? Sorry. Yep. Can you hear me now, Dean, yeah? Yeah, I've got you now, Paddy. Come on. Uh, does it say everything there that your lads are taking a point from a team in the top six and there might be a tinge of disappointment? You haven't got all three given, particularly that second half. You must be delighted with that performance from your lads. Yeah, I thought the performance was better than last week's against Southampton. Um, you know, we're probably fortunate to gain an extra two points last week and we're unfortunate that we've probably lost a couple of points this week. Um, I thought our overall performance was really good. Um, they gave us problems in the first 15, 20 minutes with the two tens just uh, in the pockets. And then we, we changed it and went a flatter three midfield. And I felt we dealt with that. Um, but when I first came in, I said I wanted us to stop giving away big chances, which we did today. We restricted them to very few. And I'm not sure Tim's had much to do all day. And we've created four big chances uh, on another day. We, we win the game. Yeah, is that, like I say, a little bit of frustration you've talked about you, you, you need as a, as a group to be better in terms of creativity, goal scoring, or taking chances, and that's probably just underlined in that second half? Yeah, I, I, I always believe if you're, if you're not creating chances, that's the worry. Um, the fact that we're creating them, I know we've got players that can go and score them, and on another day, Timu, you know, goes away with a brace, Max... With the big point for me, I thought it was a big save from the goalkeeper in the first half. Um, Ruppy's had a good chance as well. So we had a number of good chances today where, you know, we could have been more clinical and, and won the game. But, you know, I'm certainly not going to... You've got to get the players in them right areas to go and score goals. Second half, again, it was very reminiscent to the, to the first game, Southampton. It looked like the lads up the intensity and, and really pinned Wolves back. But was, it, was there anything you did different there at half-time or said anything to the boys there? Not really. I mean, over only the first 20 minutes, uh, we felt that, as I say, their tens were getting too much ball um, and the switch of play was causing Sarge and Milo a, a problem. And we dealt with that after probably 20 minutes. And, and then we just showed some uh, some clips at half time where I wanted our, our midfield a little bit more balanced so we could control the ball a lot better. And I thought we did that second half. Sorry, talking to midfield, Dean. I know it's just after the game. Can you just bring us up a date there? What's Matthias Norman done? Um, I think he was feeling his pelvis again. Uh, it's a previous injury that he's had, and he felt a bit of pain in there. Um, you know, but I, I felt Ruppy came on and did really well, to be honest. So, uh, you know, I mean, the good thing is, I mean, Matthias is is a is a super player, but we've got a lot of talented players here, and you know, twenty two other fit players at the moment. Yeah, I mean, I was going to ask you about Lucas Rupp. It's not an easy situation to go into there, but he's an experienced lad, played 10 years or so in the Bundesliga. And it sounds like you were delighted with what, what he gave you there today. Yeah, I was. I was really pleased, um, you know, with, with his reaction to coming on the pitch. I, I asked the players or the substitutes before the game when they come on to come and make an impact. And uh, he certainly did that. I thought he, 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 he played really well. But I've got others within the squad at the moment who are pushing me all the time now, Pierre's growing up in training really well. So, you know, I've got some big decisions to make, which is good and what my, myself and Shaky want. Exactly, yeah. And the final one for me, obviously three unbeaten, now two under your stewardship. That's just what it's all about in this league, trying to sort of just take the games over, pick the points up, build a bit of belief, build, build a bit of momentum as well. Yeah, and I feel that that confidence and that belief is, is growing now. Um, you know, and we have to make sure that we continue with that momentum and, you know, uh, we can't, you know, Take the pats on the back. We we have to make sure that we just keep working hard and the results will come then. Cheers, Dave. Thanks for your time. Well done. Thanks, Paddy. Yes, Paddy. Uh, Michael. Cheers, Dan. Hi, hi Dean. Hi, um, is, it, is it fair to say, you guys, one of the things you want to do is take fewer risks at the back at the moment, you know, in terms of getting the ball forward a bit quicker? I mean, there's a couple of occasions there maybe where there were a few risks taken and some slightly hairy moments, but in terms of generally what, how you want to go about it? Yeah, I mean, I, I, there's, a, there's a way I feel that we can build up. Um, and I thought our build-up was quite good, but, you know, they've got to assess the risk and make, and make football decisions. Uh, you know, what we do as coaches is we paint pictures for the players of what they might expect, but they're the ones who, who are decision-makers. And, you know, I trust them to make good football decisions. Uh, and just one more, if I may. Um... Max Aarons, I mean, you touched on the, the chance he had, which Wolves defended pretty well in the end. Uh, the way he was carrying the ball up the pitch as well in the second half. I mean, we, we, we all know kind of how good Max is, but from you working with him sort of uh, in, in his few weeks, um, how have you found it? Yeah, really enjoying it. Um, you know, he's, he's probably 
been restricted a little bit more, more a little bit more by me at the moment. Um, you know, especially when the ball is on the opposite side, uh, I want rest rest defending positions. But certainly when it's on his on his side, he's he's more than welcome to go and uh, go and do what he's good at, which is you know attacking the box and really good link up play for the big chance in the first half. Thanks, team. Well done. Thank you. Thanks, Michael. Um, anybody else? Donovan. Okay, Donovan, over to you. Hi, Dean. Sorry, Donovan. Yeah, just one for me. Um, You've talked about the uh, amount of chances you restricted uh, Wolves to, but in the areas that you restricted them to, you must have been quite pleased with that. Yeah, I was. I mean, we, we kept them out of the box, which is what we wanted to do. Um, I know what good players they've got. I've come, against, come up against Wolves already this season with Aston Villa, and uh, to restrict them to next to nothing today is, is really pleasing. And, um, you know, dealt with balls that came into the box, but kept them out of the box for the main mainstay. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Donny. Thanks, everyone. We'll uh, leave it there. Thank After you. After the uh, walls have completed their press, we'll get the recording sent around. Thank you. Thanks, mate.